Well, we're going on to the 10th race of the season here today at Auto Club, and uh, we might be screwed. You guys know what we were going to do this season, and that was uh, kind of to start from the back at some races and uh, have a fun time with the season. So that meant not getting our sponsor bonus and expectation bonus things. And originally, I thought it was going to work out all right. Now I'm a little worried. So originally, I thought uh, anything underneath a 50, we would lose our primary sponsor, which is what we're trying to do right now. We still have 13 races remaining on the contract, but if the happiness gets below a certain point, it should uh, it should you know go away faster. Somebody in my comments told me something about 45 or below. I was like, oh boy. So I even went back to when we were Dale Jr. and when I lost that sponsorship, and that was actually uh, our happiness got below 40. So I'm not 100% sure. It also might change based off of these these sponsors so this you know Aaron's might be a different happiness before you lose it they might have a little bit higher expectations so it might go away after 50 or underneath a 50 but honestly I don't know at this point so once again I'm not too worried but we are running out of money 743,000 but let me take it let me give you a look at the garage don't don't start panicking yet I feel the comment section getting kind of pancakey right now don't worry so it, it'll go down to every race it shouldn't take too very long. It shouldn't take too terribly many races to get to 45 or 40 or below. Um, so right now, once again, we're about to get these big builds in, engine build uh, and chassis build. And we already have like three clean races here set up for some of this equipment. So we can at least make it probably another three, four races easy, uh, probably more than that. So I'm not really sweating it too much. We shouldn't have to spend too much money in the next couple of next couple of races so i think we can make it to the point where we lose our primary just it didn't it's not going to happen quite as soon as i thought i don't think it would be nice to see it go away after today's race since it'll be under 50 it might it also might not i honestly have no idea at this point we're just going to run races until we lose it so with that being said we'll give you a look at the point standing so after our win in martinsville last week hell yeah uh jeff gordon had some problems he lost the points lead he now trails tony stewart by one whole point uh, we're 168 points back now, which is not too bad. I can definitely deal with that. So we'll give you a look at the rest of it here all the way down. Uh, Michael Walsh rounds out your top 10, 294 points behind. So we go on Auto Club today. Once again, not one of my favorite tracks. We've never done good things here. I hope we can do good things here today. We're going to have some good pieces. 81 engine power. we got some pretty high tire wear. And not the best downforce, but that's okay. 83 car rating. Let's hop into it. All right, the qualifying. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this track, but we do the best we can. So I took all the downforce out of it. Probably not the best idea, but uh, from what I found, this is the quickest we can be. Like, there's just no good. Like, you got to do something. This is the only way we can. Like, it's about the quickest way I'm gonna be. I guess that's how it is. Uh, this track just sucks, man. It just it just sucks so I took all the downforce out of it it's not it just slides through the entire corner but it's really fast on the straightaway so there's that so let's see first lap P1 37 1 I got a lot more where that came from because now we got that up to speed up to up to speedness going off in a turn one even though the thing didn't hook up at all through turn okay you know we could you know, just quit out of that and go to the race it's another great day for racing. We should see a lot of green flag racing in this one. Well, you're right. Fuel mileage is a big concern for a lot of teams. All the green flag racing means they'll have to be very careful when they decide to pit for fuel. The 99 car is beating and banging on just about everyone, but lately he's really headed in for Tony Stewart. He'd be better off if he'd let things cool down. It's a race, not a demolition derby. Ron Hornaday has struggled so far in his NASCAR Winston Cup career, but as his past racing experience shows, he could turn things around at any moment. Jeff Burton looks to turn his luck around in this race. He definitely needs a good finish, not just for himself, but for the team, his sponsors, and everyone else involved with that team. Start your 
Alrighty, well, I'll start next to Tony Stewart. That's not Let's good. Mark Martin, I think I saw Sterling Marlin up there. Well, I'd like to take this time to throw back in to the last three, time we went to Fontana in Season Dodge 4. I don't know, man. I don't know what it does shit like that! And we already crashed it. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't go like that. So, um, yeah, here we go. 62 laps. Let's get it, Tony. Please don't wreck me. Please don't wreck me. Please, please don't wreck me. There we go. If I could just take this lead without you wrecking me. There we go. This is for some wide. It's going to take me a minute to get up to speed. He's still going to kneel him right by me. Oh, he's going to come down here and wreck me. Okay. I understand. Oh, way to go. There we go. Now I'll definitely take the lead. Thank you very much, Tony. Oh, that wasn't so hard. Now, hopefully we can run away with it. Will we, though? I don't think so. There are three wide back there. All I know is I'm faster on the straightaway. Yeah, hell yeah. Short way around. And they wrecked. I don't know. What? There's something you don't see very often right there. How the hell did that happen? I think somebody blew up. Or totally died. There's there's one stuck down there. Oh, yeah, big old meaty slide. Oh, no, he's rolling now. What the hell happened? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Damn, what a ride! What a ride! Front row, Joe! Holy shit! That might be one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in NASCAR Thunder 2004. Wow, I don't know how that happened, but that's cool. Alright, well, back to green! Mark Martin, P2. Let's get it! I'm gonna try to block as much as I can until we get to the back stretch and get up to speed. Excel, once again, acceleration always sucks, but as long as we can get to the back, we'll be alright. There we go. I think I sawed him enough. We'll be up to speed. Get in the back. There we go. There we go. There we go. Clear all around. See, they just don't have that straightaway speed that we do. And that's huge. That's the one constant. It'll be there all damn race. Man, look at everybody go up the damn hill. Damn, Kevin Harvick. He's on it. And he's off it. All right. We're still early in this run, and I haven't pulled away. I also, I, I mean, I haven't lost the lead, but I don't know how I feel about this, man. This is kind of weird. Once again, I'm still getting through the corners all right. And I say that, but, I mean, it's all right. The straight, once again, straightaway ski, speeds what's, what's keeping me alive. We got one blowing up down here. Hello. Oh, it's Christian. Rip Christian. That's the thing, man. Oh, this is going to be tough, man. Kevin Harvick, he's, it looks like he's pretty damn strong. Everybody else falling off a little bit. Oh, brother, here he comes. Yeah, halfway. And tires going to be starting going away. That right front? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We got straightaway speed, though, and all that time we gain. And all this time we lose right here in the one and two. So, I'm fast enough to maintain, it looks like, in the lead for the first half of the fuel run. We're about to see what we do for the second half of it. But, that's going to be a track position race. If I can stay out front, I think, I can maybe win it. That's a big if. And the next question is, how do we break this up? Because that's also going to be pretty important. Dale Jr. is now coming up into this picture. And if he gets alongside of me, he's going to end my life. So I, I think we come down in short, but I think we have to because we're starting to, I mean, the tide is starting to go away and we're really starting to lose that corner speed. Um, so I'm thinking we break this up into short, you know, some short stops, some shorter stops. Because uh, we're not going to be able to stretch it to halfway to make it there. So I guess we're going to have to break this down probably into 20s almost. I think it'd probably make the most sense to come in here in like 21 and then 42 with a 20 lap run. So it's gonna be about 20 lap runs, give or take. And I think that's good enough. Might be tough, but 
Oh, jeez. I don't know what it did. It all right there. Ha, 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 ha. Well, I think it's about time to come down pit road. I don't know, though. I think this actually might be a little bit better for me. It depends on how slow I am through the corners now, but I might be able to benefit off this draft since I'm already fast on the straightaways. That's the thing. If I can stay with these guys and hit pit road, because if I, if I hit pit road too early, then the tires, I'm going to be at a bigger disadvantage for the run. These guys will have fresher tires for the whole entirety of the run. So if I could short pit by maybe like a lap or two and just get back out front for sure, that'd be perfect. But, oh, jeez. All right, pit road time, pit road time. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't know. I didn't speak. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't speed. I am a very lucky person right now. Okay. Yep. Yep. Not enough of the tires. Boys, I don't ask for much, but we're going to need two clean pit stops here today. Two clean pit stops, that's all. All you guys are really fast, so. 14, 15, 16 point like three, I think I saw. That's not too bad. It was still kind of slow, but whatever. There goes the leaders right there. So we didn't come out too far behind, but it's definitely not great. There goes Gordon. All right, so we did come out with these leaders. So hopefully we can kind of draft our way back up through here, make up some time before these guys hit pit road, and then we'll see what we shake out. So overall, that's not too bad. Now we just got to go to a lap probably at least 42, which, I mean, that's, that's a run for sure, but we just got to hit our marks. I think this is a, I think this is a doable this is a doable win. I think it's possible. Just got to be perfect all the way around. Oh, Hermie Sadler out of the race. Rip. Look at this big suck. We're gonna get down the back. Look at that. I didn't pull out quite quite in time, <laughs> so I kind of had to check up there and check me up for me. But uh, hell yeah, there's one spot. And now we're not too terribly far behind the leaders. This is valuable time right here that we're gaining right now. This is valuable time. Get up in here behind Bobby. Uh, oh, and Bobby's blowing. Bobby's blowing. Get out of the way, Bobby. Oh, shit. All right, Bobby. See ya. <laughs> See ya. The leaders are pitting. All right. So Newman's the first to come in, it looks like. Dale Jr. still out there. I don't know if I want Dale Jr. to come in early or late. Oh, jeez, I didn't think about this. Dick. Yeah, come on down here and hit me, punk. That's what I thought. I think Dale Jr. hit pit road. Thought I saw a red car. Oh, jeez. Well, that. Uh, I'm. 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 Uh, Tony Stewart's trying to kill me. That's what's wrong. Shit! We're still okay. All right, we definitely lost some time that way, which that sucks. Now we're gonna see. This time we come around, we'll see what we cycle. Cause Dale Jr. is gonna be on his way out of pit road. Hopefully, we come out in front of him. Oh no! O2 is out on the track again. Oh brother! Sometimes they lie about that, so he might actually be out, but. There it is. There's Dale Jr. And we are going to cycle out in front of him. Barely, but we're going to cycle out in front of him. I don't know where Mark Martin's going here, but... I guess he's going to pit road. Yes, he is. Okay. See you, Mark. All right. Now we got to go to lap whatever. So I think we I think we played that right. We'll see we'll see what this thing does. I think we'll still be a little quicker for a couple of laps, but then we just gotta hold on. I definitely didn't come out as far as I would have liked. Obviously we lost some time to Tony Stewart's dumbass. So some of these guys still haven't so still on pit road. Now finally cycled back to the lead, so But yeah, you see how far we came out in front of those guys. By the time we hit pit road, who knows where they'll be. I don't think they'll be in front of me though. I hope not. 
We just got to worry about Dale Jr. We don't have much fresher tires, than, or we don't have, he doesn't have much fresher tires than we do, but he definitely has fresher tires, so. Oh, yeah, and he's also pissed. Oh, brother, here he comes. Here he comes. He got a head of steam. Oh, Jesus. Please don't wreck me. Please don't wreck me. I actually got through three or four good that time. Here he comes. Man, he's just faster. Right now, I mean, he's just flat out faster. Even almost on the straightaways. They gave him some more straightaway speed. Shit. Yeah, I definitely did not outrun him there. Great, you just killed both of us. Great fucking job, you dumb motherfucker! God bless the fucking America, Dale. I will kick your fucking ass. Don't think I won't. I will. Oh, what a dumb motherfucker, man. What a dumb motherfucker. Now Ryan Newman's gonna go up there. How did he get more? That's bullshit. He should have wrecked way worse than what I did. If I ever get back to Dale Jr., we're getting a fucking caution. That's cool. I remember. I remember. Oh boy, they're really stacked up here down the back. I think this is Hermie Sadler, who he, act, you know, he actually came back out. Yeah, he did. He's just really fucking slowed in the way. So we ended up losing. We're like two seconds behind now. Ryan Newman, he was in the lead. Dale Jr. is right there, right, I mean, right there behind him. So I still think Dale Jr. is probably quicker. I don't know how the damage affected him, but I don't even know if he got any damage. I know I did, but. There you have it. There's cars on pit road. Final pit stops of the day. So pit window is open for most everybody. And I'm losing time, man. I've already lost another couple of tenths. So I mean, yeah. I probably, I probably ended up wrecking a little bit of speed out of it, thanks to Dale Jr. But all hope is not lost. We still have one more pit stop, and we got to have a big pit stop. The last pit stop was not fast enough. It just wasn't. So. We're going to have to have a faster pit stop next time by. And we're going to have to have the best run of our life to be able to get back up in there. But we will have to. We, I mean, I am going to short pit. Because look at that. There's no, I mean, that was that, that was fast as I can run, man. I didn't really make any mistakes that lap. And I still lost however many tenths. But I don't have any draft right now. If I could suck some draft with somebody, that would definitely help. If I was still up there, I could probably just hang around in it. Boy, look at this group. I'm just like slow. I mean, not only is it late in the run, but I still think I wrecked. I ended up wrecking some speed out of the car. Three and a half seconds, man. Well, everybody, look out! Everybody, start backing up. Get out of the way. It's Hermie Sadler. <laughs> I bet I've I've about fucking had it. I've about fucking had it. I have about fucking had it. I'm not gonna be able to catch him. Fuck! I'm so fucking pissed. I'm so sorry, man. I'm, I fucking had it. I fucking had it. I'm sorry. I'll make another rival. I'm so fucking pissed. Because somebody's gonna get fucking wrecked. Somebody got wrecked, but somebody else is gonna get wrecked. I don't know if it's gonna be this race, but somebody's gonna get fucking wrecked. Tony Stewart or Dale Jr., what are you two motherfuckers? I've had enough. I I have put my foot down, and I'm saying that I have had a fuck enough. So now both of you motherfuckers fucked up. Mark Martin, fuck out of the way, dude. God, fucking fuck. I'm going to come down here and put some damn tires on it. Give me some fuel. I ain't done it. Yeah, we saw it happen. I'm so sorry, Matt. We'll figure it out later, but I had enough. I had enough. I had enough. You can blame Tony Stewart. If Tony Stewart was still available to me to where I could turn him, I, I would. But unfortunately, you were, you were the only person left, so. Look at that. I've got a second and three tenths worth of damage. Yeah, no kidding. All right, boys. Big stop. Four tires fuel and fix the damage. Then, um, oh, yeah. Yep. Mistake right off the bat. God, I love this game. Can't we do anything right? We fucked both the pit stops today. One worse than the other. And now look at all these spots we're gonna miss. Look at this. 19. 9. 
Oh, yeah. Why don't we just fucking sit here? Give up some more spots. That's really great. Great idea. Now, look. We're racing here with Casey Mears. Jamie McMurray, who hates my guts. Look at this. Now, I might as well be last, right? 14th. Came in 7th. Congratulations. Congratulations. You guys are fucking horrible. Like, why are you on my team if you can't fucking put together a four-tire pit stop? You guys are way better statistically than any crew I've ever had in my life in this game. Why do you still make mistakes and why are you still slow? I don't know. So why are you on my team? I don't know. We're about to shake it up. I about I about to had enough of a couple different things. Some drivers and some fucking pit crew members. Jesus H. Christ. Jim and McMurray is at minus 100. About a freight train, these motherfuckers. There we go. There's two rivals out of the way. Thanks, Hermie Sadler, for being really slow. Okay. Now well, that puts us up to P10. Here we come. Everybody get out of the way, please. We gotta go, man. There's a lot of damn lap traffic. There's just a lot of things going on here, man. If I could draft Matt Cancel down to a 58, that would be that would be nice. Come on, let me see 58. Oh, it's gotta be a 58. I'm gonna bank on it being a 58. Yeah, it's a 58. We're good. We're good. We're good. We'll draft it a little bit more, but not much. God, we gotta figure out our way through this. Look at this shit show. Oh my sweet Jesus. Oh my god, that's a lot of cars wide. I'm gonna be faster than all of them down the straightaway, so. Oh boy, they're bouncing off each other. Come on, please let me clear. Please let me clear. Please let me clear. I'm still slow down the damn straightaways. Look at that. What is this, eye racing? Alright, P5. Matt, if you could stop hanging on my right rear, that'd be so, so great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I don't even know who I'm racing for a position. I could take a wild guess, though. I see Ryan Newman and Jeff Gordon up here in front of me. I'm going to guess one of those two is uh, for a position, and then Dale Jr. in the lead up there. Uh, yeah, something like that. A second and a half off. We got time. Elliot Sadler, you're going to be a friend, right? No, you're not going to be a friend. Why is that? Fucking asshole. Dude, look how much time he fucking cost me just being a fucking asshole. Fuck ass. Fucking dude, I'm so sick of this. I'm so I'm so sick of that. I'm about to dump somebody for doing that bullshit. Like, I'm so I'm so sick of it. And then you hang, and then you hang. You just gotta hang, 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 hang it up, Johnny. Look at that, another tenth loss. Cause you're just fucking incompetent. Well, I ran out of tires. I ran out of tires. I blame Johnny Benson for just being a fucking asshole. Oh man, I'm so infuriated. This 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 track infuriates me. And I'm just so pissed off. I don't I don't like it when, when AI cars get to fucking hit me and just get away with it. Like they like no repercussions. I hate when they stuff me in the wall and then they drive away and I can't catch them back. Yeah, well guess what? I'm gonna beat everybody's ass next week at Richmond. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna wreck Tony Stewart and Dale Jr. if I get a chance, which I'll probably get a chance, is I'll probably lap them. I'd like to think so. If not, they'll start next to me, I'll dump them off the bat. I'll do something. I'll get them both. Don't think I won't. I will get I'll get them both. I'll get them both at some point. You fuck you 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 fuck you're joking. Don't no, I'm not gonna get up. I'm now. I'm not gonna get upset. I'm not gonna get upset because I don't think I can get any more upset. And I remember when I had straightaway speed. That really sucks, and I really have it anymore. It kind of defeats the purpose. And that's all Dale Jr.'s fault, and I'll remember. Oh man, <laughs> I'm so aggravated right now. I'm not gonna lie. Really frustrating not having the straightaway speed I deserve. Thanks. I should have a top one spot, but guess what? Dude, I've had such a bad enough for Kevin fucking Harvick. Fuck off, dude! Fuck off! Let's just end the fucking race. God, I just lost the top five to Tony Stewart and Michael Waltrip. Jesus H. Christ. I can't wait for next week. I can't wait for it. Oh, I can't. I can't wait for it. 
I can't wait for it because Dale Jr. is going to get what he fucking deserves. He's going to win today. It's going to be great, boy. He's going to be upset next week. Let me tell you. Mm, I can't wait. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. I just wanted to... Yeah, go fuck yourself, Kevin Harvick. You just got to be there, don't you? Fuck you. Yeah, eat, the, eat the fucking inside wall. Jesus H. Christ, man. I've had so much... That, that you can blame, partially blame Kurt Busch, because I was pissed off for him blocking me. Johnny Benson blocked me coming up through the field. I lost my speed because Dale Jr.'s fucking dumbass is just pissed and has to fucking right rear me going off in the fucking corner for no apparent reason. Tony Stewart's a fucking wanker. Everybody who blocks down the back stretch is a fucking wanker. Everybody's a fucking asshole, man. And everybody's going to get it next week at Richmond. You block me, you're going to get turned. Well, I have like 15 fucking cautions. I can't wait. Yeah, thanks for all the hard work. How about my pit crew? They fucked up every fucking stop. Every fucking stop. 15.6 estimated ends up being a 16.3. How? 95 pit crew, or whatever it is. 90s pit crew. Then they come in. Gotta spend a little bit of extra time fixing my damage. Oh, what do we do? The first tire we gotta change. Fuck it up. Jesus H. fucking Christ. Let's go to Richmond.